Howdy folks, I am Ruskiel and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the, last us in the last episode, we finished our investigation at the beach house and now we are here at the arcade machine. And uh, we also found out that Monomi has released Nagito from the confines of his little prison. Way to go, you way to go letting a psychopath walk around. Anyway, and this one, we're going to play the arcade machine, see if we can't figure out uh, the motive that was contained within the programming, and uh, we'll see if there's any more investigation to do afterwards. So, I mean, even if I do play this, I might get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. <laughs> uh, man, if only I could do that for this one. I might save myself some heartbreak. But at the same time, I would also spoil the hell out of it. So, double-sided, double-edged sword. Sword. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Hmm? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Down five. <gasps> oh! Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command. You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen? Is that... Down 5. Yeah, that's definitely gotta be... Are you talking about the message that says down 5? Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down 5 drinks or something. It means you have to press down 5 times. That's... Huh. Interesting message. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick, just as expected of the Ultimate Gamer. Well, it doesn't have to do anything with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Okay, I got it. Alright, so here we go. Right back at the arcade machine. I didn't think if we would... I wasn't sure whether we would actually be back here or not. I was kind of expecting to not be back here, honest. So, I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Syndrome murder case. Press down five times with your own hands. Alright. Oh. The screen changed. She was right. This is the real game, Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases Truth Edition. I should start it up, I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press enter. Alright, so let's press enter and get going. <laughs> ah! uh, we open with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into onto the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the event incident, one of the five girls, Girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day, when it all began. <laughs> That's kind of a creepy background. Not gonna lie, it's unsettling. Alright, day one. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry for ke keeping you all waiting. Geez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for the slowpoke girl, eh? Come on, girl B. You don't have to be like that mad. You don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I'm not your friend. What? There's no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. That is... God, yeah, that's... This has to represent the girls that... The girls of, uh, on the island here. Taha, the way Girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get sick at their stomachs. 
Huh, is girl he is girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something, so she told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen? Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. Huh. You should be super careful, Garelay. A chubby weakling like you miss makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A's getting really scared. Huh. It's fun to bully Girl A. What the hell was that? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Do okay. Then we have to go on our way. Alright, so here's the second floor. And we go on up. Huff puff huff. Wait, is this girly? Okay. I needed to read that. Girlie, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. Ah, <gasps> oh, I love the I love the music. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Okay, so how does this answer any of the questions that we... when we played Days 2 and 4, I wonder? I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Oh, I guess I actually need to input the commands. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Let's wander on in. And there's... there's the dead girl. Someone's laying on the floor. Hmm. Is that an aquarium off to the right there? This is... She's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible. Why? Yeah. Lower your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean... This looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? She thinks about it. I see, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be... the window? Ah, oh, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So, the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry? Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Hmm. The fish tank. Um, that was really slow. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from the inside the music room, or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Hmm. Can I... Okay, I can at least skip that without skipping and skipping it. It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then, the pervert who stole stole girl E's school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there? 
They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. So, they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped. Missing... the stolen school swimsuit. Hmm. Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around, too. Oh, that's bad, uber bad. We need to hurry up and run. And she's gone. But don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know that what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it was. Hmm. Please, wait, don't leave me. Girl D was left behind, huh? Oh, that's when she was taking the pictures. Duh. Girl D. Sorry, did I make you wait? So, what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. She's not having it. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to take a look at this photo. What am I looking at here? On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. What is it? And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pe vase pieces mean? Hmm. That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I... I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously? I don't know anything. Hmm. It's okay, I made sure to throw it all away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Are... are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not. That's not what I meant. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... you... you didn't say anything either. I knew. You know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No. She wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch... was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you'd told me, none of this would have happened. Girlie, don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... I felt a sudden rage... Before I knew it, I was choking her. And then, she lost consciousness. But things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault. Or yours. It's all her fault. Girlie. Okay... I think I'm starting to see where things are coming together, maybe. That bitch. Girlie, was it? <laughs> evidently, uh, evidently they have a favorite vocabulary there at the school. Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Hmm. So what? It looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is. How could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this. Were you even there? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch! What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... I will never... I will never forgive her. Alright. So that fills a few more things out. Kinda... I, I guess it does clear a few things up in that case. Looks like this is the end. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep, now you've filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Chiaki, what do you think the character what do you think of the characters in this game? You mean like girl A and girl B? 
Their names make no sense, and they have no romantic chemistry, either. No, not that. While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll... Looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Uh, probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll? <laughs> uh, welcome to Let's Play! Watching credits! Alright, so... Productor, director, supervisor, plan and scenario, programmer, everything's just coming up Monokuma. I mean, Sumiki, Koizumi, Hiyoko, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuruyi, the clan. Holy crap, the clan. Okay, so I, was, I wasn't wrong in my initial thoughts that everyone looked like they had been that the characters had been modeled after the speech the speeches the the way people talk god damn wait just now see didn't i tell you what you want to know is going to be around is going to be on there yay congrats miracle congratulations you have finally beaten twilight syndrome murder case now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know... Oh, that's right! That game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past event! Is that true? By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question. But, even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for the story. Our school life. So wait, someone on the island already killed someone out during school life? Holy crap. At any rate... Congratulations! Now then, as the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game. I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Woohoo! How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Like I was told the same thing when I beat it, too. Man, I, w I was too late. If I had known something like this was going to happen, I would have played the game sooner. Yeah. Um, we saw Fuyuhiko with a manila envelope, what, like, the first night the game was introduced? Yeah, there's... He absolutely played it at this point. I was wondering if that's what it was. I may not have vocalized it, but, y you know, when you're two weeks out from when that first came up, that it... things roll around in your mind often enough that uh, just various random thoughts come and go. You never know what you vocalized and what came up after the fact, what you thought of after the fact. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to that this time, too. Okay, that's kind of weird to read. But is it really... is it really true? We were already... we were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then, what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. Well, if that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Well, then I'll go too. That's right, if I get some information from them, I might find out something about... 
about the mystery behind Mahira's death, about whether this game is true or not, and if we really had our school memories taken away. Well, then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. I don't think they're going to remember. Ah, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Oh, we're... Oh, no. We're... we're oh, nah, Nikito. Oh, why, hello there, Hajime and Shiaki! We meet again! The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? Ah, uh, so you caught me? Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys? It's okay, just make your point. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Yeah, he, he, even he makes her uncomfortable. What should we do? Hmm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Alrighty. Well, I think in the next episode, we're going to go talk to some of the ladies at the airport on the first island. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.